Hello, welcome to Toddler Time for the 29th of May. We'll do our first song, which is one that you're beginning to get to know now. God is good to me. We'll just sing it through twice. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me lips to eat my chips. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me jelly to fill my belly. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me strength to swim a length. God is good to me. You can do either that stroke or that stroke. Doesn't really matter. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me lips to eat my chips. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me jelly to fill my belly. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He gives me strength to swim a length. God is good to me. And then the one I taught last week. Ready? Can you do that? Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs. Hands, hands, bring your thumbs in, fingers, thumbs. Let's try that. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we were made to praise you. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we were made to praise. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we were made to praise you. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we were made to praise. Hands up, turn around, we were made to praise you. Hands up, turn around, we were made to praise. Hands up, turn around, we were made to praise you. Hands up, turn around, we were made to praise. Jump up, sit down, we were made to praise you. Jump up, sit down, we were made to praise. Jump up, sit down we were made to praise you jump up sit down we were made to praise would you like to do that one once more with me hands hands fingers thumbs we were made to praise you hands hands fingers thumbs we were made to praise hands hands fingers thumbs we were made to praise you hands hands fingers thumbs we were made to praise hands up turn around we were made to praise you hands up turn around we were made to praise hands up turn around we were made to praise you hands up turn around we were made to praise jump up sit down we were made to praise you jump up sit down we were made to praise jump up sit down we were made to praise you jump up sit down we were made to praise well done i'll just quickly teach you another one now before i tell you the story We cluster off with clapping and then we have to stretch up as high as we can, bend down as low as we can and then stretch out as wide as we can. Do you want to try that? Stretch up as high as you can, bend down as low as you can and then put your arms as wide as you can. It goes like this. Start off by clapping. Simple song. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Stretch up. So high you can't get over it. Go down. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Once more. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. So wide you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Okay, I hope you like those songs. Now, I'm going to tell you a true story that happened to Jesus when he was 12. But firstly, I want to introduce you to Teddy. Here's Teddy and here's his mummy. And Teddy loves his mummy and he wants to thank her for all the lovely things she does to look after him. Can you tell me some of the things that your mums do for you? What does your mum do for you? Any ideas? Lots of things. She cooks you food. She gives you cuddles. If you're hurt, she helps you. 
She helps give you a bath and get you up in the mornings. She takes you shopping. She takes you to the park. Lots of things. Lots of things. Well, when Jesus was a baby, his mum was Mary, was very busy looking after him and taking care of Joseph too. I wonder what she did. Perhaps she cooked delicious food. Perhaps you could mime Mary stirring a pot of stew or something. Stirring the food. Perhaps she swept the floor. Can you mind sweeping the floor? And I'm sure she rocked Jesus to sleep in her arms. Perhaps you could mime rocking. Well, Mary watched Jesus grow from a baby to a toddler to a young boy. Perhaps she measured him each birthday to see how much taller he'd got during the year. I wonder if your mums or dads do that for you. Wow, you'll soon be taller than me, said Mary, when Jesus was 12 years old. But what pleased Mary the most was that Jesus was so kind and helpful. One spring day, Mary started packing a picnic basket and some clothes in a bag. Where are we going, Mum? asked Jesus. Well, it's time to go to Jerusalem, said Mary. We're going to visit the temple, God's house, and thank him for looking after us. Well, on the way to Jerusalem from Nazareth, where they lived, it was about 60 miles, and there were loads of people going. There was Jesus, his aunts and uncles, cousins and friends who were all going to Jerusalem too. Let's pretend we're going to Jerusalem. <clears throat> I've got a, little, got a little song here to the tune of the Grand Old Duke of York. <clears throat> it goes like this. It's a grand day for a walk in sunshine or in rain. Let's walk all the way to Jerusalem and then we'll walk back home again. And when we are there, we will say, and when we are there, we will say, and when we were there, we will say a prayer for the ones we love. Hooray! Ready? Try and sing it with me. It's a grand day for a walk in sunshine or in rain. Let's walk all the way to Jerusalem, then we'll walk back home again. And when we are there, we will say, and when we are there, we will say, and when we are there, we will say a prayer for the ones we love. Hooray! <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> well, when they arrived in Jerusalem, they went to the temple. It's very big. It's like a big church. Shall we shall I say a prayer to God? Thank God for all the people who look after us. Dear God, thank you for our people, especially our mums who love us and look after us. They do so much for us. Thank you, God, for loving us too. Amen. After a while, it was time for everyone to go home. Mary went in the front with all the babies and the young children. And Joseph went to the back with all the dads, all the older children. On the way home, Joseph found Mary and asked her, Where's Jesus? Mary stared at him. I thought he was with you. No, I thought he was with you, said Joseph. Oh, no. Mary and Joseph looked all around for Jesus. Perhaps you could mind looking for him. Where could he be? Could he be with their aunt, his aunts and uncles? Have you seen Jesus? They shook their heads and said no. So they asked the cousins, have you seen Jesus? <clears throat> they shook their heads and said no. So they asked all their friends, have you seen Jesus? But they too shook their heads and said no. Oh dear, Mary and Joseph were so worried. Now, I've got another little song. You might recognise the tune. I hope you like these little songs, by the way. Where, oh where has my Jesus gone? Where, oh, where can he be? With his eyes so bright and his smile so warm. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? I'll sing that once more. Join in with me if you like. Where, oh, where has my Jesus gone? Where, oh, where can he be? With his eyes so bright and his smile so warm. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? 
Well, Mary and Joseph went all the way back to Jerusalem to look for him. They looked for him in the streets. No, they looked at him in the marketplace. He wasn't there. Can you guess where they found him? Did you guess? You're right, they found him in the temple. There was Jesus. He was sitting with all the teachers learning about God. And everyone was amazed at the sensible things he said, especially as he was only 12 years old. And Mary said to him, Jesus, we've been searching everywhere for you. Have you? said Jesus. I thought you would guess that I would be in my father's house. Come on, said Joseph kindly. It's time to go home. So Jesus did as he was told and waved goodbye to the temple. Perhaps wave with me. Goodbye until next year. Shall we sing our travelling song once more again? It's a grand day for a walk in sunshine or in rain. We walked all the way to Jerusalem. Now we're walking home again. And when we were there, we will say, and when we are there, we will say, and when we were there, we will say a prayer for the ones we love. Hooray! I'm sure that became a family story, don't you? I'm sure that Mary never, ever forgot the time where she took Jesus to the temple, lost him and found him again in the temple. I hope you like that story and I will see you again next week. Bye. Bye.